At the height of their power, the Forerunner Ecumene spanned a sizable chunk of the Milky Way galaxy, encompassing 3 million fertile worlds. The Forerunners were only surpassed in technological ability only by their own creators, the Precursors, just to name a few feats accomplished by the ancient race to show just how advanced they truly were. In the book Ghosts of Onyx, the Spartans and team went into a micro Dyson Sphere, a small meter-wide portal within the planet known as Onyx that led to a massive planet inside being pulled out of slip space by engineers. Their personal armor, which all Forerunners receive, is so advanced it augments their memory and perception and grant them immediate access to vast amounts of information, including from the domain itself. Each armor set has its own personal ancilla, their version of a smart AI, and was vastly more powerful than current UNSC AI. It also eliminates the need for sleep, artificially managing the functions normally taken care of by sleeping. It grants immunity to most diseases, it allows information transfer to other suits by the touch of a finger, and so much more. It kind of makes you wonder how they even ever got infected during the war. They created not one, but two sets of Halo arrays in the final years of the war. The first set were 30,000 kilometers in diameter, and the second set, the ones we see in the game, are 10,000 kilometers. Zeta Halo is actually one of the original rings, which was reduced in size to match the rest. They could seed worlds with life. One example, and this is one of my personal favorite moments from the books, which is a really nice positive note, is that ancient forerunners who refused to slaughter the precursors millions of years ago were marooned on a planet in another galaxy. They eventually found a few precursors surviving and hiding. After they died, their essences were introduced into local fauna. During the final years of the Flood Forerunner War, the librarian actually found this planet, extracted the precursor genetic information from that fauna, and reseeded a repurposed shield world from the Erdidact with the essence in hopes of atoning for what her ancestors had done. And last, they were very proficient in astro navigation and astro engineering. They traversed slip space magnitudes of times faster than both the Covenant and humanity. They were able to manipulate stars for use in their mega structures, or harness the full power of a star, or collapse an entire asteroid field with gravity just to create new planets.